Well, hi guys. This is uh, welcome to the land of Brent Erica. I'm Brent Clayton. I'm Erica Jackson. Hey. And uh, what do we do? What do we do? We're uh, we are real estate investors and social entrepreneurs. And she is a model. Um, so, um, you, you know, what? we're so excited. This is gonna. This changed my life. I think it's going to change your life, guys and girls, men and women. The the question of uh, what uh, what is a real man? What does it mean to be a man? And why are real men in such short supply? Would you agree with that? I could, yes, completely. Um, we're going to give it to you in a nutshell, right off the bat. Okay, and then and let me tell you. Every time I tell this, I, I say this to a girl. And pardon us, we're driving, but every time I give this definition, every girl nods her head. And a, here's what a, a real man is a guy who takes care of his shit. Yeah. You know what? A guy who has his act together. A guy who has his, his stuff together. He takes care of business. He takes care of his own business. When you have a guy that, that does that, who takes care of business and takes care of his own shit, um, well, there's a few things that happen. Um, one, one is, is that he is, what, are we, what were we talking about when we were like actually thinking about this? He, he can provide f for the woman's DNA, which she needs safety, right. security, financial, right? Sexual. And even if it's just up to par, but you know, on the financial side, you know, at least pulling your own weight, right? Not living in your mom's basement, not playing video games 24 seven and just sucking hind tit, as they say, excuse the language. So, um, so he's going to be able to provide sexually as well. He's going to have his act together that way too. Um, and we're going to go into more on that. But most importantly, he's going to be able to provide for her emotionally. And that was the piece I was missing for the longest time. So, look, I, I, I thought about this before, you know, after we started kind of talking about like what we we're going to say. But I want to kind of confess something to, to all of you guys out there. We're just going to talk about this tonight. Sorry, I'm going to hit a big bump here. Um, <laughs> you know what? I was never, I never really had much game. And when it came to dating and when it came to, you know, getting it on with the ladies and, and, and being impressive, I was never impressive. Um, I, I had reasonably good looks, but you know what? I was just so broken as a person for so long. I had a rough childhood and everything. And so it was hard for me to be happy. And I thought for the longest time, we were talking about this earlier today, that being a nice guy was what women wanted. You know, all the jerks out there. And when the truth be known, probably the jerks are what turned them on, the women on, turns girls on. You know, the guy, the bad, the bad guys. guys. And, and here's the thing. And you can still be a good guy and have a wild side. and. So, anyways, what do you, you should get in your definition of nice? Yeah. Oh well. Since we're talking about that. Women detest nice guys, and, and what basically what nice means is that is that uh, you just don't know. R really, more importantly, a guy who is kind of trying to like be feminine to women when they need masculine. Yeah, being being a best friend or a buddy, Ooh. like to talk to. Well, you know, I'll share all your little secrets and details with. Um, you know, it does, for women, we need girlfriends for that. And sure, I've had guys. Gay guys. Who, yeah. <laughs> which one? I love gay guys. Are we jiggling been, the heck out of this? Yeah. Maybe. Sorry, guys. Um, I've had plenty of friends in the past, which were guys that, you know, I'd tell stuff to or share what was going on. But it's different when you have a man, a, a male figure in your life that's a man, yeah, he's going to be someone, I mean, with us it's a little bit different because we're together, Yeah. but male figures in women's lives are supposed to, <laughs> supposed to be there, you know, for stability and and security and they're going to protect you and it's the girlfriends that you share your you know deepest darkest secrets with until you are in a relationship yeah usually usually absolutely so i'm not helping that 
that's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> um, so l listen, guys. Uh, one of the first things that, and this this is probably the most important thing, is that um, you know we should probably just hold it. Hold on, guys. Okay, we had to fix our stability issue. <laughs> it was shaking the heck out of everybody. Um, so, so, anyways, listen. Um, what is what do women want? Like, that's the most important thing that I had to ask myself after being married for a long, long time. I was like, wow. Well, how do I get good at dating? Well, the best question I could come up with, which I think is the question, is what do women want? And women want a real man and a real man they want masculine energy and you know and what that what that basically means is a guy who has his shit together has everything across the board mastered for manhood you know we we live in a mostly white society I mean we've got other things but we don't have a rite of passage like you know uh, Jewish people they, you've got the what they say mazel tov and even you know there's quinceañeras for girls who turn 15 in, in Latin societies but there's nothing in, especially in our modern society that really lets a man know and more importantly is men are really just taking in the shorts because of the rise of women power women are out working and outperforming men and guys have lost a sense there's we'll do a whole other thing on it but what do you do about it and here's the thing this is part of the four successes. So you have health, uh, health, love, and happiness. This is the third success, and then wealth is after that. And the, the happiness is the lotus of control. And that's the simplest thing is that you're as happy, I'm not talking about joy, you're as happy as you feel like you're in control of your life. Are you making the bet? Are you trying to be good at your job? Are you educating yourself? Are you chasing your dream? Are you actually being true to yourself and becoming the you that you want to be? And when you're like that, when you are actually taking care of stuff, you know what? You're going to be a lot more calm. You're going to be happy, which is the lotus of control. And because of that, you're going to have what most women say is the number one thing they want. You know what that is? A sense of humor. How are you going to be happy if you're so busy just like, hanging your head and being stressing. unhappy and stressing and stress leads to a lot of PE the premature finishing of guys as well so what what is a guy that's happy what is a guy that's happy yeah. you know what it's it's a guy that that is living according to his purpose and it's you know honestly it starts making your bed you know what it's it starts with falling in love with taking with doing things for yourself acts of service for yourself I'd say on the daily basis towards things that are gonna make that are gonna improve your life yeah. and then a man that's happy is attractive you're talking oh, about that oh yeah very attractive it's that, just like they say about a girl yeah. who you know the prettiest girl is the happy girl the girl that's smiling that's when she's the prettiest. So it's the same it's true. Same goes for a guy. He's the most attractive. Yeah, I mean, when you see a happy person, you just want to, you, you want to be there. You, you know what's funny? It's like that's... I always noticed that, that people were a lot like dogs. And dogs, if you're, you know, the first thing they do is they sniff each other. And people are the same way. If you walk around and you look, people are looking in your eyes to go, do you get it? You ever notice that? That people are always kind of just looking around, looking at each other. They're looking for someone who's happy. And then they want to be next to people who are happy. That is the secret. That is the secret. And let me tell you, there is a giant shortage of real men out there. Ask any woman. And that's the great thing is you've talked to a bunch of women about mm -hmm. this. I've grown up with a bunch of women. They have gone through bad relationships and what's been going on. So this this all comes from women who have yep. been going through this. Yeah. On both on both sides. Yeah, you know, and what's great is like the guys are going to be happy because they're right now they're like, man, we're lost. Yeah. We're just lost, and women are like, well, we're lost too because we don't have any real dudes. Yeah. 
right? We don't so, have anyone to take care of us and help us. And listen, you know what, guys? Look, Erica's in her 20s. She's 24 years old. I am not 24 years old. <laughs> I'm a little bit older, and girls are going for guys who are older now because that's the only way they can find dudes who get it. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't mean every guy who's older gets it, but there's a lot more of us out there because we've had time to figure some stuff out. So... Um, the bottom line is it's all curable it's all fixable um, we'd love to talk with you about it you know comment below send us an email yeah. what's the email it is land of at gmail.com send us your questions send us your comments send us your story yeah we'd love to hear your story let us know what you guys have been through Ooh, you know what? we'll talk about it we'll read on there we'll get there but you know what Oh my God, we've made some progress, and um, we're actually on our way up to watch boxing, find with some good friends tonight. So, um, do we have any words of wisdom in closing? Oh, we'll probably hit it good for tonight. What do you think? Probably. I'd, I'd love to hear uh, some of your stories about the bad relationships you've been through, men and women. Yeah. And uh, and you know. Because I know that there's commonalities in every bad relationship. Yep. You know, that we've talked about our past relationships and... We've both you know, had it rough. Yeah, and I know plenty Just like of you guys. you guys are. So, yeah. um, send us, you know, what has happened to you in your relationships. Guys, tell you us your like. stories, what yeah. you would like. Guys, tell us your stories. Girls, tell us your stories. Yeah. Hey, send us your questions. And, you know, yeah. we'll talk about it. And I guarantee you... But, you know, we're going to have some for you, okay? I promise you that. And and you know what? It's going to make sense. Well, at least we hope it will. The you best, know. Yeah, the best part is this is a way for all of us to come together. And and we may be talking about things. We, we will be talking about things that some people will consider taboo. Or some people, yep. you know, it's just out of their awesome. comfort range. Yeah, it's great to be able to get a group of people together, socialize, talk about these things that actually need to be talked about yep. and brought awareness to, um, just so we can, you know, continue evolving. Yeah, and it, this is really about bringing all this together, about connecting people together. This is a life Bible project, meaning, you know, meaning that it's it's a Bible for living in 2016. Right now it's 2016. This is a Bible for living. And you know what? I tell you what, we're at the forefront of understanding some really, really, really amazing personal issues to everyone. They're personal to each of us. And we're going to pick them apart. But in the meanwhile, you guys stay frosty. Have a wonderful night. Have Take fun. care of yourselves. Take care of each other. <laughs> Be excellent to each other. Talk soon. Until next time. Be safe. Good earth.